Daily TV, I'm your commentator Robert Blanche and we're here at Canubia Park for this Round 14 Trophy Superstore Premier League match between Logan FC and Ipswich Knights. Logan coach Nick Croydon will be happy with his team's form of late, especially the draw against Lions last Sunday, but will know his side will have to be at their best to get anything from tonight's game. Ipswich Knights coach Stuart Drinkeld will also be aware that his side has been inconsistent and will need to be at their best tonight. The officials for tonight's match are referee John Basilidis and his assistant referees Philip Tracy and Michael Boshoff. Corner swung in. Free header near post. It's on Padakwa. It's out for another corner. Short corner. Wilson, back for Ishikura, puts it in, it's gone in at the far post, it's beaten everyone, Ipswich have the lead in the fourth minute, well let's have a look at that again, Ishikura, dangerous ball into the box, it's over everyone, and sneaks in at the far stick, Lapari, still going, rides a couple of challenges, Butler, Puts the arm out, it's a free kick, dangerous position. Ball delivered, Brown! Three header, Max Brown, couldn't get it on target. Oak shot. Same. Ball back, ball first, touch, Davis will nick it, gets kicked, clipped, whistle's gone, it's a penalty. What will be the fate of Oak shot? Let's have a look. First touch is a bad one. Davis comes across, Oakshot not, didn't know he was there, didn't mean it, doesn't matter, it's a penalty. Davis steps up, sends Oakshot the wrong way and doubles the lead in the 11th minute. Wojnowski down the line, flicked on by a dark one. Oh, good touch, oh, crude challenge. Out comes the card, Brown hits it. It dips, but not enough, and goes over Baker's bar. Oak shot. Puts it up to Park. Kutowski, good header. Pari with the touch. Over the top for Kearns. Cuts inside, heavy touch. Baker comes out, brave save, good hands. Oak shot, up to Park. Darkwa with the header. Brown, clever ball for Lapari. Pulls the trigger and it goes across the face of goal and out for a goal kick. Ball into the channel. Whistle's gone. Free kick. Ball from distance is gone all the way and gone in the back of the net. Oak shots misread it. Mann has scored from 45 metres. Let's have a look. 40 metres probably closer to the point. Oak shot got it all wrong. Ipswich. 3-0. Let's have a look. Yeah, just did not read the play. Hunt, walls cut out. Clearance is up the park. Christoph. Brown. Cut out by Hunt. McGee. Brown. Jed Brown, the younger brother. Great ball for Lapari. He's in space, he's in behind, he's one on one! And he does what he does best! And put the ball in the back of the net to drag one back on the half hour mark. Great ball from the young midfielder. Lapari, confident, calculated, opens up. Baker, unlucky, got a touch on it, could have saved that. Brown. McGee, Kostovsky up the park, cut it away from Max Brown, over the top again, Lapari in behind, cuts inside, shoots, straight into the hands of Baker, forward, forward, dark one goes down, play on to the referee, Brown, Glorious ball, Bound Coons, he's in behind, he shoots, and it's behind Kostovsky. Up the park, Brown, 
early ball. A dark one, great challenge on the edge of the six yard box. Half time here, and the scoreboard shows the visitors with the command. Flipped forward. Cut out. Eventually. Shakira. Pinks inside again. Shakira for Davis. Davis rolls it. Let go by Liddy. Wilson puts it under. Stout and makes it four in the 49th minute. Simple play. Edge of the box. Rolled it into space. Liddy had a look. Let it roll. Wilson first time. Stout gets a touch, but not enough to stop it going in the net. Kostovsky with a good touch. Brown over his head. Adakwa battling. Gets a toe on it. Kearns in between the defenders. Puts on the afterburners. One on one. Good save Baker. Doesn't know where it is. Doesn't matter. He saved the day. Nagroyski. Lapari. Well defended. Oh Adakwa got there. Was he a touch late? If which players think he was, referee does as well. A yellow card to the big striker. Christoph over the top. Dark one. Good body. Good save, Baker, who's gone down. The whistle's gone. This could be trouble for a dark one if it seems to be him in trouble. He's left the ground. He's got a touch on the ball first. Be interesting to see what the referee comes up with. Doesn't get his second yellow. Skating on thin ice, though. Ball into the box, Baker. Makes sure and puts it out for a corner. Hunt. Clever. Secure inside. Brown. The Jed Brown. Nagorski. Good ball in. Not clear. Won't come down for Kearns. Gone out for Rudkin. First time. Good save. Baker at his near post. Good work from O'Sullivan. Sabini. Stout's come. He'll be lucky to stay on the puck to substitute keeper. No, he won't. He's gone as well. This will be the third keeper for the night for Logan. Let's have a look. No complaints from Stout. Pulled out of it at the end, I think. No choice for the referee. Rudkin's only just come on in a midfield role. Now in goals. Wilson with the shot. Rudkin, nervous start to his goalkeeping. Peacock, Lapari. Groisky, great book. Kearns, a touch by Butler. Kearns, and again, well defended Butler. Ball forward. Savini in behind. Oh, changes his feet. Puts it wide. Could have sealed it well and truly. And that's the final whistle which sees this round 14. Trophy Superstore Premier League match end. Logan won. Ipswich Knights 4. Nick, I think an understatement is that you're disappointed after such a great effort and um, play from the lads last week out at Lions tonight just couldn't get started. Yeah, I was proud of the effort last week, uh, which obviously took its toll tonight. I think the effort was there. I think you know the boys really, the effort was there from the majority. And you know, on another day we win that game comfortably. We might as well call our call our keeper Father Christmas. He gave him a fair few presents, so you give you you know you gift them three goals. What can you do? You know what I mean? So, and what we use three keepers in the game? What's that tell you? They came with a game plan. They executed it. I suppose the disappointing side of that is that the side probably allowed them to execute their plan. Yeah, you know, I, it's hard. I don't want to, you know, Ipswich turned up and they won the game and, and, and deserved the points, you know. So, um, you know, we were our own worst enemy, didn't make good decisions in, at crucial times. Um, so, yeah, we've only got ourselves to blame, you know. Like I said, the effort was there, just not the execution. Uh, on another day, you know, a few other lads, you know, play a little bit better and, and, we, and we can win that game, you know. 
it's it's just really disappointing, you know what I mean? After seeing what we did last week and seeing what we're capable of, you know, it's just hard, you know, when you don't have the squad depth um, that you're required to compete every week and players don't understand that they've got to sit on the bench and, 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 and stay fresh when you need to rotate, guys. But, you know, there's a lot of sooks out there, you know, and a lot of money getting thrown around at players in other leagues. So, you know, it's easy for them to walk. And, you know, and then you struggle for depth, you know, and these are the days where we could have used some fresh bodies today and it may have made a difference. So it's hard. Stuart. 4-1 victors. Played well tonight and got what you deserved. Uh, I think it all comes down to our preparation. Um, the two assistant coaches, Danny and Andy, um, prepared the side and were very meticulous in the preparation and, and giving players, you know, specific instructions. You know, as you say, with a Friday night, people just finishing work, running down the highway and, you know, it's a bit rushed. We, we warmed up well, our focus was very good and we took that onto the park and got the results, so I'm very happy. It showed, first 15, 10, 15 minutes, there was only one side on the park and the pressure resulted in goals, which, you know, sometimes doesn't happen, but tonight, definitely the finishing was with it, there with the pressure. Yeah, the first 10 or 15 minutes, I was looking at my two assistants going, we've never been in this position before scoring so quickly. So um, we scored some great goals. The, the movement of the ball was very good. Um, and we got you know, the rewards at the end. Defended well as well. Structurally, oh. as a side, not necessarily just the back four, but as a side, structurally, you defended well all over the park for the whole 90 minutes. Yeah, it's always a danger when you're 3-0 up with so much time to play, you know. And oh, We changed our formation a little bit to sharpen us up and, you know, every player played their role. It was very, very impressed with the discipline that we showed um, and the concentration that we showed throughout because it's easy to drop your guard if you, you know, fall one up and concede another goal. But the boys stuck, stuck to it um, and, and delivered, so very happy.